Hey everyone, we are so excited because today we are inside a brand new renovation project of ours that hasn't even started demolition. We wanted to sneak you inside this stunning comb to show you some original details before we get our hands dirty. But one of the biggest questions that we always get about any renovation is what does it all cost? So many people want to renovate their space, but the questions are how much does it cost? What can you fit into your budget? And even does it make sense to finance it? We're teaming up with Flagstar Bank to get some answers through their financial products and resources. So we're going to look back at some of our previous projects. We're going to show you what we're doing here in this house. And then we're going to jump back in and take a deeper dive into some of those financial products that Flagstar offers that can help support the renovation costs for any scale project. We worked on projects all different sizes, all different scales, but one thing is consistent between all the project, and that is the budget. There will always be a budget. But you can create a beautiful home no matter what size budget you have to work with. Getting creative to make it happen is the fun part. So the room in the house that you'll probably want to blow up and redo is the kitchen. For us, the kitchen is the most important space in the home, and it's usually where the higher end of your budget will be going towards in your renovation. One thing that's high on our clients list is opening up the kitchen area to the living area and creating a really fun entertainment area between the living and the kitchen. I'm reminded at Murray Hill Makeover, our apartment renovation that we did, we opened up that galley kitchen into the living room. Yeah, that was really important, I think, for Brian and Sean, the homeowners. They wanted to have that very easy entertainment space where you have the kitchen opening up into the living area and there's bar stools and everyone can see and speak to one another. We have all new cabinets at that project, all new counters, all new appliances yeah. as well. And then we took the wall down between the kitchen and the living room Room, which ended up being a very big job because yes, there were thanks. so many gas lines running through that wall, it was crazy. And so we had to redesign it a little bit, but we ended up being able to give them that open concept that they wanted. That kitchen was smaller and it was a little bit more on a lower budget side kitchen. So it cost between 20 to $25,000, including the labor to install everything. So I would think that's a pretty decent budget for a lower end kitchen. I mean, you can go very high end, something similar to what we did at Green Avenue Glow Up, where we opened up the entire back wall to the kitchen. And that one was just so beautiful with the, the new cabinets, the bold color of the cabinets. And also remind you that we did a quartz countertop that pretty much went halfway up as the backsplash. And then on the other side of the blue cabinets, we did the white cabinets. So you had cabinets on both sides of the kitchen. So right there, that automatically lifted the price of that kitchen. So that kitchen was a little bit more expensive and for something like that would have been about forty-five to $50,000. Yeah. I'm really excited for this project that we're inside right now because this entire room that we're standing in is gonna be the kitchen space. So even this blank canvas is a pure soundboard for us to create this beautiful open kitchen. But I'm imagining this is gonna be a higher end kitchen in this home. Definitely, we're doing custom cabinets here. We have a lot of original features to work with. We are opening up the back to a deck. This kitchen renovation is probably gonna even clock in at a little bit more than that $50,000 mark. I think we're budgeting about $60,000. So the next space in your home that you'll probably want to rip out and restart <laughs> is the bathroom. For me, one of our favorite bathrooms that we ever worked on was the primary bathroom at Break and Reno. Yeah, well, what I remember about that bathroom is that we didn't really change the size of it much but it seemed so much bigger yeah. because of the way it was built and the materials that were chosen. And I remember there we had the really beautiful zen-like kind of wood look yeah, tile on the so floor cool. and up the wall. We had the blue and green tile on another wall. So the colors were very calming, but there definitely were a couple of features in there that were a little bit more on the expensive side, which were a nice splurge because it helped elevate the entire bathroom. So we had the beautiful concrete sink 
That was a very big feature of the space. One of the best things that we did there was create that wet room. So having the one area with a freestanding tub and a shower really opened up the space. So something like that would cost probably somewhere between fifteen and twenty-five thousand dollars. And on the lower end, we have something like the powder room at the Gates House. It's a smaller space, about five by seven, so not a lot of tile to fill the walls. And we just used it on the floor tile, elevating it with a nicer tile. And then we added the wall paneling and a very vibrant color wallpaper that really lightened up the entire space. And then we did a repurposed sink in there as well too. So you're getting all of the feels, all the textures, and keeping that budget down. And I would say we spent about five to seven thousand dollars within that bathroom. A bathroom like this one that we're standing wow. in right now, believe it or not, this will be the primary bathroom in this house. It's going to have a couple of windows. It will have a fireplace the in it. The original fireplace. <laughs> but it is a big bathroom. Yeah. There's a lot of tile that's going to go in here. There's a separate shower and a separate tub. Two separate vanities as well. Something like this is probably going to cost up to about $40,000. So usually in our projects, we're not just renovating a kitchen or a bathroom, but we're renovating the entire house. <laughs> Moving walls, new electrical, new plumbing, new everything. Sometimes that cost adds up quite a bit. So I think it's important that we walk you through the cost of an entire gut renovation. And one of the ones that comes to mind the most for me is Green Avenue Glow Up because that was exactly what you just that described. That place was a mess. <laughs> Everything had to go. So we needed all new floors there, a uh, new kitchen, new bathrooms. We had to level the floors in a lot of places, lots of like plaster and uh, drywall work. So it really was in every sense of a word, a, a full gut renovation. Yeah. But it turned out really beautiful. And in the end, there were some areas that there were some splurges. There were a lot of areas where we had to stretch the budget and get very creative. <laughs> it's really fun to kind of pull all that together and figure out what, where you should put a little bit more money in and where you should pull back so that you don't break the bank, but you also are creating a really beautiful space. Something like that project would probably be in the 200 to $250 a square foot range. You definitely can do it in a lot of cases for a little bit less. Usually the lowest we would say that you might be able to accomplish a full guard renovation is around $150 a square foot, but you're not doing a lot of structural work in that situation. You might not be fully replacing the, the plumbing and the electrical. And then of course it could go up to about $400 a square foot if you're really doing a lot of stuff, but right down the middle, kind of like a, mi a medium cost, medium size full guard renovation will be in that 200 to $250 a square foot range. So we're going to talk about three resources that Flagstar Bank has to potentially fund this type of renovation. So the first is a cash out refinance. A cash out refinance mortgage loan can help in paying for your home project or renovation. For this to be possible, your current value of your home must be greater than the amount owed on your existing mortgage. With this type of refinance, you convert home equity into cash by creating a new loan for a larger amount to cover these expenses. Next up is the home equity line of credit or the HELOC. A HELOC is a variable rate revolving line of credit with its own term and repayment schedule separate from your first mortgage. You can use your home equity line of credit as needed for a certain amount of time called a draw period, which is typically 10 years. When you pay back the amount you use, it becomes available to you again. Another option is a home equity loan or a HE loan. A fixed home equity loan is one lump sum with fixed monthly payments and is an ideal option for those who know the total amount they'll need to refinance their project in advance. Any of these resources might be a good fit to help finance your renovation project. We love helping people transform their spaces and invest in their homes. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of what it might cost and how you can pay for it. We're including a link below where you can learn more a bit about the resources offered from Flagstar. If you're just starting your renovation or you're thinking about taking on a renovation in the future, Flagstar can definitely help you out. And we're looking forward to seeing you on our next episode where we're gonna delve deep into planning a renovation. But until then, we gotta get busy here at this renovation. So we'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Check out Flagstar Bank at flagstar.com. Also check out Flagstar's YouTube channel for financial tips and tricks.